Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Attack on Titan, you guys. <laughs> you see how I had to like brace myself there a little bit? Um, wow, guys. Uh, well, we kicked off the second half of the final season last time, and I gotta say, I'm both scared and excited to see where everything's going. It's kind of where I live in, uh, in Attack on Titan is somewhere between scared and excited. Um, and I will briefly get into what I thought of the last episode. But first, I just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, Still, thank you for joining me today. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I've just been joined by Buffy. Hi, Buffy. You can't see her in the camera, but um, but she's here, and she is excited also for Attack on Titan, or for something. I don't know. <laughs> Could be Attack on Titan. Who knows? Okay, so Buffy has taken her leave now. Um, she was a little bit too excited to... Uh, Stick to the back here. Sometimes she'll just kind of lay on my couch while I'm editing and everything. But um, for something like Attack on Titan, where I got to pay close attention, I feel like she uh, she'd probably be better off just playing in another room, um, so that we're we're both happy that way. <laughs> I don't miss anything, and she doesn't have to be super bored. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I was saying, um, if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm so glad you're here. Um, I hope you will hit the like and subscribe button for me if you are joining me on those YouTubes. Um, so, all right, guys. Last time on Attack on Titan. Um, I have to say, I think it's in true Attack on Titan format for us to have... A situation where like all of the all of the first half of you know part um the the final season part one they're really trying to drive it home to us that like Aaron's not the same Aaron's not the same Aaron's being a jerk Aaron's like not Aaron anymore only for them to like and they had just kind of got me they had what really was the turning point for me was the whole thing with Armin and Mikasa, and I still even had my doubts then, but I was like, all right, guys, I feel like they're really trying to tell me Aaron's a jerk. And then they kick off last episode with like, but is Aaron really a jerk? <laughs> you just gotta love Attack on Titan for being like, nope, it's this, it's definitely this, it's most definitely this. What is it this, though? So, um... I don't know. I'm really hoping. I know I've heard from a lot of you over the last week since I watched watch the last episode who are, who are like, um, this could just be like a master plan by Aaron. And even Armin was saying like he had to go along with Yelena. Yelena was not going to really um, hear otherwise and he had to kind of go along with it to a degree to where he could just get to where he needed to be to implement the rest of whatever his plan is. I'm really, really hoping for that. I'm rooting for that. Um... But I'll tell you what, guys, I don't know how any of this is going to go, really. I don't know how they're planning on ending it. I know there will be resolution of some kind, but I don't know. Like, I just feel like this is a show where it's not going to be a quote-unquote, like, happy ending. You know what I mean? Um, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm really wrong. Uh, like I said, they steer me in one direction and then swerve me. So who really knows? Um, but uh, one thing I was really glad to see was that Armin... Is he still just has that wonderful pure heart, you know, after all we've been through, after all he's been through is the now colossal Titan. And we saw him last part of the season, like dealing with the weight of that. Um, and he's still him. I just, I just love that. I just, that it's the little things that get me by in the show. It's the little things that give me hope. And so I'm just going to hold on to that for dear life. Um, but uh, we left off in the middle of a pretty big battle last time, you guys. Um, so I don't know. I don't know who to root for. I don't know what's going on. The only thing I really know is that I don't know anything. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, and Levi. Like, what? I've, I'm... I put money on the fact that Levi is okay. She would not have just run away with him if he was really dead. So, but like, what is going on there? How close is he to death? What are we going to do about it? All these and more hopefully will be answered in the next episode or at some point. So what do you say we go ahead and get started on the next episode of Attack on Titan? Let's do this. <laughs> They're 
<laughs> like, that was beautiful. Can we go? But not like this. But you said it lovingly. Well, maybe. Not always. <laughs> He's like, you can't deny how cool he is. It's like that would be a waste of coolness. They still believe in him. There's that little part of them. There. We, we have some scores to settle. We have some scores to settle, and we can't have them dying just yet. Because that's the only way you would... Oh, God. He was so, like, broken in that moment. Aww. Okay. Alright, okay. I, c I can... Yeah. Yes! Okay. Alright, alright, Armin. Alright, sweetie. I'll... You've, you've convinced me. I think he still has a plan. I think he still has something that he's fighting for. Wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he just, he want his goals to end this. Oh, he's not done yet. He's not done yet. He has this, he's, yeah. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whoa. Ow. He's not done. Look, he's not done. Oh! He's, oh! Oh! Uh-oh. So I think it is. Oh, dang. He's got backup. Big bro's here. And now we're just going to cut to the theme. Did he know he was coming? He almost looked surprised that he was there, didn't he? Oh, no. There's that. It's the... Uh, Baseball coming back into play in the worst way, or best way, depending on how you look at it. Whoa. It's not gonna... I don't know if... Yeah, should we be... Oh, boy. Oh, no, guys. I... I... I know I don't know what side I want anymore, but I really don't want anything to happen to Peek. Oh, he's uh, he doesn't look well, but he's up. There, once they... Dang it. Oh, dang it. Is she really going to do that, though? I wonder. Well... I guess it's good that she wants to take some responsibility. <sighs> oh no. Oh, no, I can't bear to see her leave the scarf behind. Mikasa. Oh, that's sad. It's sad, but in a way, I feel like she's doing this for herself, too, you know? Like, from this point on, whether that was true or whatever, like, she's kind of taking control of her own life. I guess you could see it that way. It does make me incredibly sad to see her leave the scarf behind. That scarf means a lot. 
Oh, just uh, just reveling in it. We're just, we're reveling in it. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. All What is going to happen when they make contact? I'm so curious to know. If they, if Aaron was planning something, I feel like now is when we're going to find out. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. All right. Paradise Island Surprise Attack. The goal of the Surprise Attack is to retake the Founding Titan. Right. We know that. It's unknown what conditions must be met to activate the Founding Titan's power. Therefore, it's critical to secure the Founding Titan before its power can be used. And we know they were saying that a little bit in the last episode. Like, we don't really know how this is going to work, so we just need to make sure that we get it back. Um, so, <laughs> guys, so we have, like, a bunch of different things going on right now. We have this, the surprise attack. We have our crew coming in to back up Aaron now after some careful consideration. We still have the Jaegerus and their whole thing going on. Again, we don't know, like, what's going on with, um, you know, we never touched base again with, uh, with Hanji and Levi and everything. Who knows when that's going to come back to play. I feel like if something, there was going to be a big swerve with Aaron. I feel like maybe right now will be the time we found out. I could be wrong about that. Maybe it won't be right now. But I feel like, I feel like him slowly, like, limping towards Zeke is like it's it's ramping up to something i don't know i could be wrong i could just be traumatized from how long watching the show years let's find out oh he's yeah he's he's still he's still up and at him wow he took a lot of damage too holy cow uh yeah. <laughs> Oh. Oh, dear Lord. I would do anything for them to show up right now. Right. They're meeting up now. So Aaron did know. Aaron looks somewhat surprised. Uh, there's the yeah. mm. Oh, that's an incredibly scary face. What was that about? If you're just going to go to the nice face, then why did you go with the horrific face first? Did you just have to think about it a little bit? What the heck? That was, that's one of the scariest things I ever seen. That was scarier than any Titan right there. Uh, oh, 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 he's going to let him, he's going to give him back to his brother, isn't he? He knows he's not going to see his family again. And he's like, I'm going to make sure you get back to your family. Oh no, I feel like he's legitimately trying to help him get back to his family. <gasps> Gabby, really? Wow. That's, wow, I'm shocked at Gabby. <gasps> oh my god. Guys, at the end of the day, we're just all humans who miss our family. Good god. At the end of the day, we just all miss our family way forward for her character because you've seen stuff Gabby because you've grown oh <gasps> oh wow that's it kind of sounds like how Gabby felt about all these other parties here She's she's feel, she's feeling the weight of this. She's feeling the weight. She's feeling the weight of everything now. Oh God. We're just people. 
Oh god, it's gonna it's gonna break her. It's gonna break her the same way it broke Reiner. Oh, you didn't. That was okay. I don't. That was not. Oh god. You didn't know. While we're at it, just thought you should know. He's he's going for it. He's going for it. Oh, <laughs> it's like I don't know what to do with that. Oh my god. <laughs> Why not tell you this? It needs to be said. I think he just proposed. She ripped the... She ripped the armband off. We're steps away. Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. <gasps> no. No. Peak. Oh. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Double cross! Not even double cross, just swerved. Holy crap! Oh my god! Did they like get him? Get him? Oh wow. Oh god, he is steps away. Yeah, he's a, it's he's not going to die instantly. Oh god, but they got him. They got him. <gasps> oh! You're kidding me. <sighs> All right, guys. That was the latest episode of Attack on Titan. I knew it. I knew something was going to happen before they wouldn't have Aaron slowly approach if they weren't planning on something happening at the last minute. And if they don't do it fast, whatever they're planning on doing is not going to happen. Um, they need to make contact. Aaron's getting close. Zeke is still in there. He's still alive. <sighs> I, feel, I feel like Reiner is personally going to make sure it doesn't happen. But I, I, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you where this is going to go. Um... Now our closest thing we have to like our crew, which is our crew that we started with, um, Armin and Mikasa and everyone are working with the Jaegerith, um, Yelena and that terrifying look. I have no idea. I uh, was that just like a, you better really mean this that you're helping us. I have no idea. It was so scary. Guys, of all the scary stuff we've seen on the show, that takes the, the scary cake. Um, oh man, and just, I gotta say, like, seeing the growth in Gabby, it was, it was slow going with Gabby at first, but, God, after everything she's seen, she was like, I get where Reiner was coming from, I finally get it, like, we just decided these were devils, and in reality, it's like they're, none of them are devils, and all of them are devils in a way. If there's one thing that this final season has shown me, it's that they're all capable of terrible things against innocent people. And they're all capable of good things. And they're, and they're all regretful in a way. Like, I don't think there's, I don't, I can't think of anyone we saw here that just like, it's just totally and completely confident in every choice they've ever made. Even Falco, who's like, I got tricked into helping Aaron Yeager. I do have to say, though, Falco is pretty. And, and I could not help but hear Tanjiro, because um, I'm also watching Demon Slayer at the, at the same time that the new season of that is this is 
coming out with this new season. And it's impossible for me to not hear Tanjiro now. Um, Mikasa leaving the scarf behind was, it was heartbreaking. And I'm, I'm just hoping, I'm just trying to perceive it positively too, that like if she really believes that her choices haven't been her own, that like this choice is her own, you know? This is not, she's not doing this because of whatever pretend hold that Aaron's family has over her ha family. I mean, they really, I don't know. I really don't even know like what the details of that are. I don't know if it's true. I don't know how much of it is true. Armin has kind of an answer for everything, but then you kind of have to consider like, Armin is incredibly intelligent and strategic, but how much of this, and I say this from a place of love because he is my son, but how much of this is being um, kind of colored by his perception of Aaron? I'm not, I'm not that anyone could blame him, but I mean, oh, seeing all of them, seeing like uh, Jean and, and Connie just being like, we got to go help this idiot out. <laughs> He's going to die, but not like this. <laughs> it's just so them. It's so them. Oh, I loved it. Oh, God, guys. Uh, wow. So we just, we had a lot going on here. We had, a, I really, I, guys, I was going to be so mad if that was the end of Peak, but I don't know. I, I can't feel good about anyone dying. I cannot feel good about it. You have shown me the tragic inner workings of so many characters on the show. There's no rooting for anyone getting defeated anymore. And it's that Ziva feels shallow to root for people when they're doing well now. It's like, yeah, but winning means someone else's defeat. I don't know. Such as war, I guess. Um, which is, I think, the whole point. <sighs> all right, guys. I think that's all I got for now. I think I'm going to have to dwell on this some more. That was, God, that was like a heart-stopping moment where Peak is just, takes the shot, goes right for the neck, the nape. Oh, man. All right, guys. Um... There's still a chance they could pull it off. But who knows? Who knows what is going to happen now? Um, I feel like somebody told me this is going to be close to the 12-episode mark. So that was, you know, episode 2 of 12 of part 2. So we still have a little ways to go. But honestly, if, if it feels like we're there right now. It feels like we could wrap this up in the next two episodes, doesn't it? <sighs> All right. I'm going to dwell on this. I'm going to come back with more to say in my next intro. And uh, wow, guys, that was quite the episode. A lot going on there. And I just feel like everything we've been through has brought us to this point. For better or worse. So, all right, guys. It's weird to say I enjoyed it because, you know, obviously. But... I'm very invested. I got a lot out of it. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time. Oh my God, please. I need you. Help me. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.